This game was suggested by Cyberpunk Girl. Thank you for your request. It's a game where you're a head of agriculture for a space outpost on Mars, and you're responsible for creating enough food to keep the residents of the outpost alive. You have various crops that you can plant, and you have to protect those crops from various weather conditions that can hit you on Mars, such as solar flares, dust storms, radiation, cold snaps, earthquakes, rock slides. There, there are a lot of things. Each crop costs a certain amount of money, generates a certain amount of income, and provides a certain amount of sustenance. You have to make enough sustenance for the people on the planet, which you can do either by growing high sustenance level crops, and by building various buildings that boost your income or sustenance. The buildings you make require power, which you can produce by solar panels. You start with six plots, and slowly expand outwards, paying more for each layer further away from the outpost each time. As the outpost grows, it can expand into your plots, so you can end up losing some upgrades and space to grow crops in. The upgrades are what you use to protect your crops, and certain crops have certain criteria that need meeting for them to grow, such as one type needing irrigation and a heater, another may need a dust shield and irrigation. Things start to cost more as you go through, and you earn more money off of certain crops you farm. There's also another mechanic where certain crops will be desired by the people at the outpost, and you get more income by making more of this particular crop. That means you have to weigh up between making crops that bring in money, crops that cost money, and crops that can sustain enough people. Also, there are objectives, such as growing a certain amount of a crop, or gaining a certain amount of people to the base, that give you rewards. So, you have to weigh that up into the choice of what to grow as well. Now, this all sounds pretty simple, but what you need and what you can have all depend on what the weather is for that year. There is a bar at the bottom with the year's predicted weather, so for example if a crop needs a dust shield but there's no dust storm predicted, it can still grow fine without one. But if it needs radiation protection, and there's lots of radiation predicted, it's essential that you have one. The bad thing about this is that to keep your setup relevant, you can end up deleting a lot of your upgrades and removing crops. This would be fine, except you only sell them for half of what you paid for them, and if you have to keep rearranging your setup too often, you find yourself running out of money. This happens more as you get higher up. The more people you get in, the harder it is to actually provide the sustenance you need. Crops cost more and you get less out of them. Buildings give you bigger volumes of sustenance, but are really expensive. Plus they take power, and solar panels take up both plot spaces and a lot more money. Buying a solar panel isn't just paying 25 coins. It's paying 12 coins to unlock the slot, and then 25 coins to place it in the slot. Your money just gets eaten up awfully more time goes on. And there are some buildings that help you increase the income you get from your crops, but you just end up with the same problem. The buildings are expensive, the land is expensive, and the buildings don't help you enough to warrant their price. Then you just end up bankrupt, unable to make enough crops, then you don't get enough income, and your production just spirals. You can build back up again, but there seems to be an inevitable letdown every time you do. The aim is to get as many people in as possible so you can get promoted and move to a different base, where the exact same process will start again, but harder each time. So, the game doesn't really get too complicated, and the whole idea isn't hard to pick up, it's just the payoff versus the cost seems to be a bit disproportional in some areas. When the game first loaded, it tried to load up in the lowest possible graphics settings, so I changed it to Ultra and it worked perfectly fine. The graphics were fine after that, there's not really anything too taxing for the game to display other than the spinning planet on the load-up screen. The layout of the game is pretty static, and things don't start moving until you play the year and it shows you the weather in progress. The crops themselves get a bit bigger and a few stars move off them, but other than that there's nothing too spectacular for the game to try and run. Saying that, what graphics there are are fine, no problems with any of it. The music is soothing-ish background sound, which was decent and faded into the background pretty well when I was concentrating. Controls are nothing too taxing, click here and click there, Slide your mouse against the edge of the screen to look around, right-click for more info, and press the X in the info screen to delete something. As said, it's not a hard game to get the concept of, and it makes sense in the setup story it has. It's got various things you need to weigh up that add to the planning aspect, and there's space for development as you do well in one area and move on to the next. The game's fairly samey and can get frustrating when it gets more and more difficult to meet the production requirements you need because nothing makes enough when you're too poor, everything's too expensive and you don't have enough power because you can't afford that. The money you earn doesn't do enough to help when you get huge boosts in numbers sometimes, and that just ends with you dropping again. It's not bad, you can get some decent time out of it. It's pretty chill, so if you want a lower maintenance game just to take up some time, then it'd do the job pretty well. I'll give Red Planet Farming a 7.5 out of 10.